Lorenzo Luca is now 26, in his prime he developed quite well. He is wanted by a bunch of teams, Brighton, Leicester, Man United and Monaco. He is having a great start of the season by scoring 10 goals in 9 appearances with an average rating of almost 8. He also had 2 goals in that Champions League game against Celtic. What a player we have on our hands. Hello there folks, welcome back to a new episode with Underlegged. Since the last time you were with me, we had another goalless draw, this time home against Antwerp, but we've managed to win away at Standard 2-0 with Lorenzo Lucas scoring a brace. In today's episode, we're gonna play Olympiacos in the Champions League, OHL away from home in the league, and we're gonna finish the episode with this game away at Leipzig. So we were a little bit inconsistent in the start of the season, and we're second, four points behind Club Rouge, who had an almost perfect start of the season. Now, before we get to play Olympiacos, just a quick reminder that you guys can always subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and leave a comment. Thank you for that. Now, here's the first 11 that's gonna face Olympiacos, Nasri in goal, Bjorkan, Zagadou, Ethan, Ivan, Scott, Gagliardini, Conte, Vercheren, Rooney came back from his injury and Luca up front. We have Vergeren still out with an injury. I believe he's going to be available for the game against Leipzig. We should win this game against Olympiacos and I made sure the players knew that. We are favorites to win it. Okay, let's do this. Here's the first highlight with uh, Olympiacos controlling the ball. Maddy. We have a guy named Maddy. Oh, that's a nice move. Come on, chase him down. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, that was lovely. And we're one nil down. Maybe not. I don't think he was offside. No, it's disallowed. Well, we got away with it. Ivan with a throw in. Come on, boys. Zagadu. Scott. Ivan. Scott played uh, a lot. I believe he's going to get really tired in uh, the second half. Because we had Kana injured. For the last three or four games. Versharen, Luca, come on, Luca. That's how you score a goal. One nil. Maybe not. Let's see what the referee has to say about it. Goal awarded. There you go. 15 minutes in, and we're one nil up after a lovely shot from Luca. Nicely done. Let's praise them as we get another highlight. With uh, Olympiacos controlling the ball. Back to their goalkeeper. Come on, boys. I should give uh, Luca another contract. I'm going to wait a little bit. Rooney, Ivan. Oh, that was poor, but we get the ball back. Here's Gagliardini. Versare, nicely done to Conte. Little flick on to Luca. What a shot and what a great opportunity there to make it 2-0. As it stands right now, of course, we're top of uh, this league phase after we've won uh, that away game at Celtic 5-0. Yeah, what a spectacular game that was. Let's hope we're gonna score uh, more today. Here's a Conte. Conte! What a good opportunity. Great save there. Well, after that disallowed goal, we didn't really see anything from uh, Olympiacos. They had no shots at all. Come on, let's score another one, please. Here's Scott. Oh, what a ball to Rooney. And it's 2 nil. Come on, boys. Great job, Rooney. Came back from his injury to get himself a goal. Here's Bjorkan to Scott. Nicely done to Versharen. Good control of the ball. Turns back. Gagliardini to Bjorkan. Versharen make it free. Yes, it's free nil. Let's go. Another spanking just like we did against Celtic. It's free nil after 46 minutes. Okay, it's half time. We dominated the game. Like I said, Olympiacos, no shots at all after that uh, disallowed goal we've had a lot of shots yeah sure i'm delighted everybody's happy let's keep going here's agadu to gagliardini versharen another good opportunity to rooney ivan now ivan back to ethan ethan is not having such a great start of the season i'm giving him a chance here as a first choice central defender he should take advantage of that. That should have been a penalty, but Versharen continued, kept the ball, and now it's 4-0 with 
half an hour remaining and that's a brace for Versharen. Now the guy is on his hat trick. That was great. That was really great from Versharen. Yeah, that was a penalty right there. You guys saw it, but he continued and placed that ball far post or nil. Here's Agadu to Rooney. Scott. That's a lovely ball to Conte and it's 5-0. I wasn't expecting that. I thought uh, the goalkeeper would get to it before Conte. That was a lovely ball from Scott. Yeah, Rooney played it back to Scott. First time pass to Conte. Great job, people. Oh, and we get a kickoff highlight. Okay. Here's Ritz. Hoffman. He's on a yellow card. Maybe we can take advantage of that. It doesn't really matter with 5-0 up. It's a rare occasion with Olympiacos in our penalty area and it's a great opportunity to get a goal but uh, they've hit the post. Well, 15 minutes remaining. Let's make some substitutions. I'm going to bring in Pons for Ethan. Marco Cana for uh, Scott. I'm going to bring in Lucas Tassin for uh, Luca. Pedro Grosso is coming in for Bjorken and Muzambo for Rooney and I'm going to switch him with Versharen. We're approaching the final whistle. We had nine shots on target and we scored five goals. This is a proper highlight. It's not the end of the game highlight. A good chance here. Oh, Nasri, what a save. Pones, Ivan and the highlight will probably end or maybe not. Here's Gagliardini. Are we going to make it six? That's in to Conte. Oh, ho, ho. what the hell was that made? That was a good ball from Stassin. Anyway, we've done it. Another 5-0 win in the Champions League. After two games, we have a goal difference of 10. With Alex Scott getting best performer in this game. We've won the game against Union SG 2-0. Zagadou and Stassin scoring the goals. Against OHL, I've dropped some of our important players. So we're going to go with Ivesic in goal. Grosso, Ethan, Pons, Sadiki. Kana, Gagliardini, Lowers, Muzambo, Vershuren and Stassin up front. We have Alex Scott injured and I don't think he's going to be available for the game against Leipzig. OHL has Monticelli up front who's having another good season just like last season. We have Lucas Stassin and despite uh, lacking match sharpness he scored and had a fine game against Union SG. Let's hope he's going to score again today. First highlight, 15 minutes in and we have a corner for OHL. Oh, that was a close one. I know I'm taking a risk here by uh, playing a lot of backups, but I don't really have a choice. Here's a free kick for us now. Here's Gagliardini recovering the ball. Great job, Grosso. To Ethan. Bones. Ethan is left-footed and he plays on the right usually when he plays alongside Zagadou. Maybe that's why he's not having such a great start of the season. We might get a penalty here, but I believe it was outside the penalty box. Let's see. No penalty. Yeah, it was the right decision. Do we get to see the free kick? Yes, we do. Come on, Muzambo. Get a good crossing. Stassin was there. And the highlight will probably end. Gagliardini to Pons. Yes. Grosso with a throw in. Not too many highlights in this game. I was expecting a boring game. Because uh, we don't have uh, most of our star players. Versharen with one in up. Come on. Yes, dude. It's not Versharen. It's Versharen. It's Norman Versharen. The striker that I'm uh, using as backup to Rooney on the right. Great job, kid. We're one in luck. Okay, time is flying by. We're approaching the final whistle of the first half. Just around 50 seconds remaining. An opportunity here for OHL maybe. Or maybe we're going to get the ball back. That's it. Press them. We're trying to build something here. Here's the Shrivers. Good ball to Monticelli. Monticelli. He scores against his club. Well, good for him. Like I said, he's having a great season at the OHL. 1-1. Okay, it's half time. I don't like what I'm seeing. I'm disappointed. I'm going to tell them that we have Muzambo on 6.3 and Lowers 6.4. I don't like that. I might sub them off. Okay, it's time to make some substitutions. I don't like what I'm seeing. Bersharen is coming in for Muzambo. Conte for Lowers. 
And I'm gonna bring in Daniel for pawns. Why not? Yeah, see, Ethan now is uh, on a seven. Maybe because he's left footed. 20 minutes remaining and uh, OHL kind of dominated the game. 12 shots free on target. A better XG. We did have possession though. And 4 shots on target. Now Versharen is gonna take a free kick. Come on. Around 10 more minutes remaining. We need to win this one. Versharen over the bar. I am going to replace Kana with uh, Van Lu. Why not? And I'm bringing in Lorenzo Luca. I believe we're gonna drop two more points. Or maybe not. Versharen is gonna take a corner. Oh my word. <laughs> or maybe we're gonna drop all three points. A chance for a counter attack. That was poor. But they still control the ball. No. Now Conte to Ethan. Here's Grosso now. Lovely ball from Grosso. Versharen. Oh, what a good opportunity there. 40 seconds remaining. Yes, Van Lu, Gagliardini, tries the ball to Luca. That was poor. Here's Versharen now. Versharen gets tackled. We get a free kick. Do we get to see it? Is this the last chance of the game to get a winner? A few more seconds. Come on, boys. Come on, Versharen. To Van Lu, and it's over. Yeah. Okay, we dropped two more points. Yeah, I had to rest some of my best players. I had to. Even though I played Gagliardini. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Here we go. Last game of the episode. The toughest one away at Leipzig in the Champions League. We have Marco Cana a little bit tired. And so is Gagliardini, even though we don't see it. Yes, I might bring in the desired way in the second half. And probably Van Lu as well. We're gonna go with Nasri, Bjorken, Zagadou, Ethan, Ivan, Kana, Gagliardini, Conte, Versharen, Rooney and Luca. Our best 11 available to us. That's right. Alex Scott is not ready to play yet. Leipzig are favorites and they have a good squad. They still have uh, the likes of uh, Vardior. They have Meslier in goal. Timo Werner is still there. Moriba. Yeah, a good squad. First highlight after two minutes. Zagadou. Gagliardini, here's Bjorken, first time pass to Conte, nicely done, here's Rooney, we scored after two minutes against Celtic, maybe we're gonna do it again, oh, Kana, so close, wonderful stuff from uh, the boys there, come on boys, Wolf, long ball, Ivan is there, calm down the ball please, there you go, Gagliardini, Versharen. Surrounded by uh, their players, Vardiol is there, a mistake, and we hit the crossbar again. Oh my word, what a chance. Of course, I'll take a point here. Vardiol to Moriba. Ethan Gagliardini, here's Versharen. A chance for a counter-attack for us. Come on, Versharen, get a good assist. No, not an assist, but a good pass, though. Ivan, Ivan! Unbelievable. We hit the crossbar three times in a row. Versharen. Luca. Conte is there. Conte. Here's Rooney in the penalty area. Luca! Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Every single highlight we have ended up with us hitting the crossbar. Unbelievable. We could have been 4 nil up. I'm kidding. Of course, but... Come on, four times in a row, Jesus Christ. And we get ourselves another highlight, and they're probably gonna score now, right? Moriba to Werner, yes. Ooh, Nasri does well there. Great job, kid. What a goalkeeper we have on our hands. Then you all move with a corner. Maybe it's just uh, the end of the highlight corner. Another corner? Yes, it's another corner. Okay, Leipzig are piling up the pressure now. Come on, get it away. Daniel Olmo, Zagadu was there, and the highlight please, no, safe hands from Nasri, throw win for uh, Leipzig now, another highlight, we're getting lots of highlights in uh, this first half, but no goals, here's Versharen, Luca now, another chance for a counter attack, another chance to hit the crossbar, here's Bjorken, Bjorken tries a ball to Conte that was poor and it's their highlight, it's their highlight, great job Zagadou was there to block that shot, 
Now Wolf for Leipzig, a good cross. Zagadou was there once again. Conte now. And the highlight ends. We were lucky there. Throwing again for Leipzig. Another cross. Moriba over the bar. Well, it's half time. It was kind of an even game. Both teams had uh, a few chances to score. I'm happy. Let's tell them they were unlucky. I'm not happy with uh, Bjorkan. I'm not happy, mate. Do better. Free kick for Leipzig. Danny almost gonna take it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's done it. We're one nil down with 40 minutes remaining. Well, Bjorkan is gonna get replaced after this highlight. Come on, let's see it. Nazri to Zagadu. Here's Ethan. Ethan is on a 6.4 and on a yellow card. I might bring in Pones. Ivan. Back to Ethan. Ivan again. Ethan switches play. That was lovely to Bjorkan. Come on, Bjorkan. Make me change my mind and keep you in this game. Luca was there. Here's Ivan. Gets tackled. Bjorkan. Kana. He's really tired. Or at least he's getting tired. Kana keeps going. Nicely done. Rooney. Venshoren. Oh boy, what a chance. What a chance. And now it's time to make some substitutions. Okay. Mario Pons is coming in for Ethan. Here's uh, Pedro Grosso for Bjorkan. Versharen is on a 6.2. Lorenzo Luca on a 6.3. I'm going to bring in Lucas Tessin. I'm not going to sub out Versharen. Not yet. Gagliardini now. Versharen. That was lovely. Stassin. 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 For crying out loud, mate. That was better from Versharen, though. He's now he's on a 6.5 after that uh, good through ball. We're having lots of highlights. Leipzig are one up after a great free kick. They, taken by Danny Olmo. Here's Pons to Ivan. Conte. Rooney. Gagliardini to Stassin. Nicely done. Ivan. First time to Conte. Ivan gets the ball back, though. Ivan. Oh, that was a lovely shot with uh, the outside of his boot. And that's probably the highlight. Okay, I'm replacing Marco Cana. Should I bring in lowers or should I drop Conte? Conte is on a 6.5. No, I'm bringing in Van Lu. Why not? Did I said lowers? No, Van Lu. And I'm bringing in lowers as well for Conte, who's not having such a great day. I went attacking and all. I'm encouraging them, but uh, no highlights at all. Okay, we're approaching the final whistle. It was an even game. Leipzig edged it a little bit. And maybe they deserve to win it. I don't know. But we hit the crossbar four times in the first half. Rooney was our best performer. Okay, next episode we're gonna play three Champions League games. Home against Real Madrid and PSV. And away at Astana. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Remember, you can always subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and leave a comment. I'll see you guys for the next one.